Okay, this is just a little heads up video. If anybody was thinking about the Shop Series, uh, this is a Shop Series 7202 from Menards. It was a uh, hundred bucks, and I had some coupons which brought it down to the 70s. So I ended up picking it up, and really all I wanted this saw for out here was to uh, edge some boards. Uh, if they come off the sawmill and I want to put an edge on them. The main problem is is this bevel adjustment. You push this in and then you bevel, you turn like that to bevel it. Well it's already, you can see that they're not even engaging anymore. And the problem is, is these teeth. This, these teeth have to go in and engage the teeth on this thing. The teeth on this wheel have to go in and engage the teeth on the saw that's stationary on the saw and you can already tell look it's not even they're not even engaging anymore and this thing's only a few days first old. time I cut anything was this morning I did try it at home just to see if it ran <clears throat> but when I pushed the board through it the board went through and then when it got back here this insert was about a sixteenth of an inch lower than the tabletop here and the board was catching on the uh, you know the board was catching on there and not letting it go through so I had to take this off and put a washer underneath there to kind of level this uh, level that insert out so the, so the board would flow freely on that and this thing now this is the first table saw I've ever messed with. I never owned a table saw. It was it was jamming, and it was jamming a lot worse because I yeah, I took a uh, a file and I filed down here and I filed down in here to kind of smooth the, smooth that off in there. And it's still it's better now, but that was catching in there, so it kind of defeats the purpose of having a guard if you got to lift the guard up. Well, see how it catches like that? Which, you know, that's no big deal. I'm used to Harbor Freight stuff where you got to take it home and work on it anyway. That's That was no big deal. The, the raising this up was no big deal and filing this down was no big deal, but this being uh, this plastic on plastic gears is, and it's literally right now, it is literally not even touching those gears anymore. And I've had this thing. This is the second time I've actually messed with the saw. You still can't adjust it. I mean, you, it, it doesn't. It doesn't mean you can't adjust the bevel anymore. You can. You can. You can loosen the uh, bevel lock and still move this thing by hand. You know, you're not going to do it by this wheel. You know, I don't know. Whoever thought that plastic on plastic was a good method. But the body of it is plastic. It's all plastic. I mean, this is the this is the weight of it. I mean, I'm not I'm not Hercules, and it's like you know. But I would say if somebody's asking me, I would say no. I'd say look elsewhere. Menards doesn't do that. I know reviews on their website. <clears throat> so I just looked it up on the internet, and Amazon had something about it, but it was a seventy-four, some or other. But it, it looked pretty much the same. And it didn't get the best reviews. So, but, you know, for 70-something bucks, I thought, well, I'll take a chance.